Hey folks, Lama here with Cowboy Boots, Hats, and Western Life Enthusiasts. So before we get started, I just want to wish you all a happy and safe 4th of July as we celebrate our wonderful nation's independence and uh, reminisce on what it took to actually get that independence. I'm truly grateful. So today I have a boot unboxing and review for you from Farini Boots. Uh, these are their Piracu print. Uh, it is one of their most popular boots. So uh, let's get into it. All right, so before we get started on this review, I just want to let you know that Farini sent me these boots for the purpose of this video, but it is in our contract that I be completely honest in how I feel about these boots. So uh, let's get into it. So first of all, you get uh, one of these uh, standard, basic standard uh, boot box, you know, like what, what you would get. And uh, it says, uh, heart and soul above the rest, Farini. And then once you open them up, you get a whole letter welcoming you to the Farini family. And uh, so these boots are supposed to be a, and they are, uh, the Bronco, it's um, Piracur print. Now, there's a lot of prints out there. Uh, prints are not usually my thing, but I know some of y'all, you know, don't mind having a print. But uh, if you are going to have a print, might as well have it the best looking print. And I must say, these are some of the nicest looking prints that I've seen. They almost uh, really do look real. And that's what they're known for, making uh, some of their prints that just look very much real um, and and that is one of them uh, now for some reason pure crew to me always kind of look like a uh, grill marks you know um, so like you know that like, kind of like when you put grill on uh, you know like the steaks on a grill like in Longhorn commercial and they that's what it looks like to me but you know what I've, I've grown to actually like the way it looks but uh, some of the Piracus, they're, um, they're, they're kind of all over the place, you know, where all, all the stuff is coming out. Uh, and there's uh, Piracu, I guess, that they put like a laminate on top and, you know, it keeps everything nice and neat. Um, so this, this is a print that will show you that. So um, here are the boots. You got a uh, shaft shaper right here both sides and here you have a, a piece of paper inside of the boot so just remove that and there they are so let's start with the bottom so on the bottom you're going to have your traditional um, leather uh, sole with the Farini's uh, name on there uh, it is a Goodyear double stitch welt, as you guys can see. It also has the uh, lemon wood pegs with brass, so that is a very nice thing to see. That shows a lot of attention to detail, uh, you know, in, in, in some of the quality. And uh, you got a stack leather heel right here, and um, rubber cap it says Farini on it too. And uh, you see the nails right there. So, uh, so far, it looks pretty good to me. Um, now, it has a traditional roper heel, as you could see. Uh, now, onto the vamp. So, here you got your Piracu print, which this is basically a cowhide that's been probably uh, cut up and uh, to make it look like... Um, like a Piracuru, and then it's probably been layered with some sort of a protectant to kind of, you know, uh, keep everything nice and low and also add a layer of, uh, of strength to it. Um, now, moving on to the counter, uh, I will say this. I'm not very much impressed with the counter. I think it's a little soft until you get to kind of the bottom of the counter, but uh, right above here there's not that much support uh, I wish that uh, Farini would have actually implemented a, a something tougher right back here 
but again some some folks actually don't like uh, too hard of a counter because you know kind of you know is weird on them but I, I like a, I like a little bit of a tougher counter and for you folks that do like a tougher counter uh, especially you know uh, working or horseback riding you know you, you definitely want a, something a little bit stronger to you know give you a little bit more support um, so that's one of the things I, I, I must say I didn't uh, really that much care for but um, it is a very nice looking boot I mean if you're gonna have a pure coup print this is what uh, you would want it to look like and like I said that's why this is probably their most uh, uh, popular boots um, so then you got a nice uh, cowhide uh, shaft right here with a uh, little bit of uh, that Piracu print uh, right here on the uh, pull tabs now I will say this shaft is uh, pretty uh, uh, soft so it should feel very nice and comfortable and, and kind of counter you know uh, the thing that I will say is this it um, it, it, it has that distressed look right here on there uh, as you guys can see it's pretty distressed and um, it has a um, kind of like a paper like feel but it still looks uh, good you know I'm sure they'll resist I've, it's not the first time I've encountered a shaft like this now uh, on the inside lining um, this is the second time that I've seen this and it's it's the second time in a in, in a row actually because uh, the last pair of boots I reviewed from JW had this uh, they use a kind of like a, a synthetic uh, lining right here or um, seam as you guys can see and it says Farini all over there and I don't mind that I think that that will you know uh, that will be very nice and comfortable shouldn't do any uh, anything bad especially if you're wearing long socks and what I love about it is also the fact that it has this green lining because I really love uh, this color of green uh, and nobody could see that so it's it's kind of uh, something that you know it doesn't really matter but it is cowhide inside and that is a very nice feeling um, uh, lining inside now for the insole they're using some kind of uh, thin leather insole. I'm not sure if they have a um, they have a uh, uh, any kind of foam on the bottom. I don't think they do. Uh, so it's pretty traditional, but it it goes all the way to the front of the boot, and um, basically it's um, it, it's glued on, so you can't remove it. So. Uh, once it's done, you gotta kind of unglue it and put something else, or I don't know, but it, it, it is glued on. Um, so that is the boot itself. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and try these on. All right, so here we are. So let's put this one on. Now first impression while trying to put my foot in this instep is that it's very um, it's very tight so it's a very tight instep and I can actually uh, I'm kind of crushing that uh, counter while I'm doing it and just got my foot in I have a little bit of heel slip but uh it is pretty tight right here. I feel like that's gonna have to get broken in and uh, maybe the instep hopefully will be breaking in. All right, hopefully the next boot comes on a little bit easier. Nope, it's not complying yet. This one's even tighter. Well, it's just my foot probably but it is a it is tight so if I could recommend you guys anything is size up a half a size because there's no insole to remove from these boots but they do look pretty nice once they're on there we go so 
side, front, other side, back. Then the most important part, top on these pure crude print. They're really, they're nice looking, especially with a little darker wash jean. You know, if you're into pure crew, it's a nice looking boot. Well, let's get back on top. All right, so here's my conclusion on these Farini Bronco uh, pure crew print boots. Uh, if you got a pair of boots that look like a sizzling steak out of a Longhorn Steakhouse commercial, chances are you got yourself a heck of a good looking uh pure cool print boot but in all seriousness uh these actually really do look like a pure coup uh boot um so i mean if you're on the fence about uh you know getting a a pair that you know kind of looks like a pure coup uh but you don't want to spend all the money uh these ones are coming in at 220 dollars so that is uh basically the price of a nice cowhide boot um these will be a very nice pair of coup print. Um, I mean, they, they, they look really nice and, and real if you're into the pure coup look. Um, but there is some things I must say about this boot. Um, the whole uh, sole part, you know, uh, the, everything from the weld down uh, looks great to me, actually. Uh, it's been done very well. Uh, where I have a bit of an issue with this boot is uh, on the construction on the vamp, you know, whatever they're using for this because as I was putting on the boots um, Again, the instep was extremely tight uh, and uh, Whatever they're using on the counter definitely could be improved because I was literally crushing it trying to put my foot in uh, and uh, You know instep could be worked on a little bit better, but then again uh, my foot did not uh, fully kind of go in uh, uh, right away so and once it did it actually was tight so it might not just be the instep it might just be the fact that you know maybe I could use a half a size bigger just to make it a little bit better um, maybe that's the case for, for, for some of you guys so maybe maybe you guys want to order a, a half a size bigger just to make sure uh, you guys won't run into that same problem as I do um, also uh, you got a pretty uh, soft shaft where it's not that much of a problem. I mean, I do see some slide imperfections, but then again, real Piracu have these slide imperfections, which is part of what makes it look real. Um, and I mean, this is a handmade boot from Mexico. So all these uh, handmade boots are going to have these slide imperfections. It's not finished out bad uh, to say the least, but uh, some of the material could have been a little bit better. But at $220, uh, if you guys want a pair of coup print, I think this is probably one of your best option as far as it looking like real pair of Kuru. Um, you know, uh, Farini does offer different boots uh, that are a little bit more expensive, some real uh, exotics. Um, so they offer everything from every range. They got $150 boots and up. So definitely uh, check them out. And I will be putting a link in the description below for these uh, particular boots if you guys are interested in them uh, but that's all I have on these boots right now so uh, if you guys like the video please like and subscribe to the channel we have a lot more things coming up I will not be recording another video uh, until my trip next week to Texas where uh, Joe Bradburn from the Cowboy Cartel uh, channel and I will be uh, headed to uh, uh, Fort Worth uh, check out some of the shops over there uh, check out the best hat store and I will be uh, bringing all that content over to you also we will be visiting the American uh, hat factory um, so uh, definitely uh, be on the lookout for that and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a thing uh, that is all I have for you guys today happy 4th of July and have a good one